7.4 magnitude earthquake hits southern Mexico, tsunami threat follows Nepal drone footage earthquake disaster relief reg underscore 00011504.jpg 5 things you should know about earthquakes Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam answers a question from CNN and number 39 semicolon s and a quarren. Hong Kong chief executive, no need to worry about national security law, May 2020, BLM movement awakens uncomfortable conversations in the UK forensic officers work at Forbury Gardens Park where summer evening stabbing attack took place Saturday, in Reading, England, early Sunday June 21, 2020. Steve Parsons, Pavia app, fatal UK stabbing declared terror incident by police US National Security Advisor John Bolton answers journalists questions after his meeting with Belarus President in Minsk on August 29, 2019. Photo by Sergei Gapin, AFP, photo credit should read Sergei Gapin, AFP via Getty Images, China on Bolton book allegations. We don't interfere forces sweetheart Dame Vera Lynn poses for photographs in central London, on October 22, 2009. Forces sweetheart Dame Vera Lynn on Thursday joined soprano singer Hayley West Tinra for an emotional rendition of the classic wartime song We in number 39 semicolon LL meet again to officially launch the Royal British Legion and number 39 semicolon S poppy appeal. AFP photo, Sean Curry, photo by Sean Curry, AFP. Photo credit should read Sean Curry, AFP via Getty Images, British Forces sweetheart and singer Virilyn has died mandatory credit, photo by Jeff Pugh, Shutterstock, 1059524HF, the Foreign Secretary Domino Crab arrives in Downing Street with esteem. Politicians in London, UK, March 26, 2020 here Domino Crab's Game of Thrones comment on taking the knee India China border Himalayas clash Galwan satellite image Kylie PKG and Leach and KVPX underscore 0010726.jpg How China and India came to bloodiest clash in decades gone beyond the return African Americans George Floyd Busa Uri PKG and Leldi NVPX underscore 0015624.jpg Ghana has a message for African Americans Come home workers put up the Indian flag, L, alongside the Chinese flag on Tiananmen Square inches Beijing, June 22, 2003, ahead of Indian Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee and No. 39 semicolon S arrival. Vajpayee and No. 39 semicolon S visit is the first to China by an Indian premier in a decade, as the two Asian giants which account for a third of the world and No. 39 semicolon S population, have had unsteady relations since the bloody 1962 border war, while 15 rounds of talks since the 1980s have failed to resolve their boundary disputes. AFP photo, photo by, AFP, photo by slash AFP via Giddy Images, at least 20 Indian soldiers dead after clashes with China This photo provided by the North Korean government shows the explosion of an inter-Korean liaison office building in Kson, North Korea, Tuesday, June 16, 2020. South Korea says that North Korea has exploded the inter-Korean liaison office building just north of the Tins Korean border. Independent journalists were not given access to cover the event depicted in this image distributed by the North Korean government. The content of this image is as provided and cannot be independently verified. Korean Central News Agency, Korea News Service via app, North Korea blows up liaison office used for talks with South Beijing reintroduces strict lockdown following new outbreak Africa coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic Mackenzie PKG and Leldi NVPX underscore 0003522.jpg COVID-19 mostly sparing African nations. But concerns remain Paul Whelan, a former U.S. Marine accused of espionage and arrested in Russia in December 2018, stands inside a defendant in No. 39, cages he waits to hear his verdict in Moscow on June 15, 2020. Photo by Gerald Kudryavtsev, AFP, photo by Gerald Kudryavtsev, AFP via Getty Images. U.S. citizen sentenced to 16 years by Russian court Lebanon Beirut protest economy government carriage at PKG underscore 0000507.jpg nationwide protest script Lebanon amid economic crisis UK Black Lives Matter Patrick Hutchinson rescue opposing protester Abdelaziz and Vint Leach and KVPX underscore 
1129.jpg BLM demonstrator carries injured white protester to safety in powerful image Nepal drone footage earthquake disaster relief rig underscore 00011504.jpg 5 things you should know about earthquakes Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam answers a question from CNN and number 39 semicolon S Anna Corin. Hong Kong chief executive, no need to worry about national security law, May 2020. BLM movement awakens uncomfortable conversations in the UK forensic officers work at Forbury Gardens Park where summer evening stabbing attack took place Saturday, in Reading, England, early Sunday June 21, 2020. Steve Parsons, Pavia App, Fatal UK Stabbing Declared Terror Incident by Police US National Security Advisor John Bolton answers journalists' questions after his meeting with Belarus President in Minsk on August 29, 2019. Photo by Sergei Gapin, AFP, photo credit should read Sergei Gapin, AFP via Getty Images, China on Bolton Book Allegations, We Don't Interfere Forces Sweetheart Dame Vera Lynn poses for photographs in central London, on October 22, 2009. Forces Sweetheart Dame Vera Lynn on Thursday joined soprano singer Hayley West Henry for an emotional rendition of the classic wartime song We in number 39 semicolon LL meet again to officially launch the Royal British Legion and number 39 semicolon S Poppy Appeal. AFP Photo, Sean Curry, Photo by Sean Curry, AFP, Photo Credit should read Sean Curry, AFP via Getty Images, British Forces Sweetheart and singer Vera Lynn has died mandatory credit, Photo by Jeff Pugh, Shutterstock, 1059524 8F, The Foreign Secretary Domino Crab arrives in Downing Street with esteem. Politicians in London, UK, March 26, 2020 Here Domino Crab's Game of Thrones comment on taking the knee India China border Himalayas clash Galwan satellite image Kylie PKG and Leach and KVPX underscore 0010726.jpg How China and India came to bloodiest clash in decades, CNN buildings collapsed, residents were evacuated and tsunami waves of 2.3 feet crashed into Mexico's southern coastline as a 7.4 magnitude earthquake hit the country on Tuesday. The earthquake occurred at 10.29 a.m. local time, 11.29 a.m. ET, with an epicenter 6.8 miles southwest of Santa Maria Zapotitlan in Oaxaca State, near El Coil. The earthquake could be felt as far as Guatemala, Honduras and El Salvador. In capital Mexico City, approximately 190 miles north of El Coyol, tremors were felt and sirens were heard wailing. The a U.S. GS is that of a recent partially earthquake collapsed in the area after a secondary hazard such as tsunamis Mexico. and landslides. Of zero the civil protection in Oaxaca has not yet reported any major damage. In Acapulco and a police movement from a building damaged by the earthquake in Oaxaca, Cruz, Mexico. The Pacific Early Tsunami Warning, warning Center said that has of the tsunami waves are possible 7, but that has been revised down to 721 miles. And additional revisions are possible, including a long the coast is one of Mexico, the world's most Honduras, seismically active regions and has Del a long Salvador. history of devastating earthquakes. The state is considered the light to moderate on top According of three large geological survey, and the U.S. regular quakes and occasional volcanic eruptions from a building damaged in by an earthquake in Oaxaca, two powerful Mexico, earthquakes on hit Tuesday, the country in two June weeks, 23rd, toppling buildings, cracking by the highways, and killing hundreds of localized casualties one had a and damage to a seven point there are likely to be fewer than 100 fatalities in evacuation Mexico City after damage. the earthquake shook However, the capital city, the model only in Mexico City is particularly vulnerable to earthquakes from because it's very soft and on the coastline. ground amplifies shaking and is prone to liquefaction, in which dirt transforms into a dense liquid when sufficiently churned. This breaking story has been updated with additional reporting. CNN's Mad Rivers and Natalie Gallen reported from Mexico City and Tatiana Arias and Brandon Miller from Atlanta. Emma Reynolds wrote from London.